Hey guys, what is up? It is Benny Ape here, back at you again with another video. Today I have an unboxing video, another shoe from Jelly Studio. This isn't a shoe for me, it is a shoe for my friend who got the other LV trainers. In this box we do have the high top LV trainers from Jelly Studio. Once again, he is dropping some fantastic products. My mate, I was all over his Yapu, Yapu, ordered them and he's like, hey, I want these now, can you order them for me, put them in your haul, because I've got a pair of shoes for myself in here, but we won't get into those shoes, we'll get into his. Let's go ahead and crack this box open. Alrighty guys, I have the shoes here in the Louis Vuitton dust bags, as per usual, what Jelly Studio delivers. In the box, this did come through Superbuy, um, that's why all these shoes got shipped together. We've got, um, that is for my pair of shoes. That's for my pair of shoes. We've got that Louis Vuitton envelope, and there might be a letter in there as well. Louis Vuitton, just so you know, it's legit. Oh, these are glory, boy. Okay, so we've got the Louis Vuitton dust bag, as per usual, every shoe you get. Um, it didn't shoot the, um, ship the box this time. Again, I did request without the box because it is more expensive to ship it to me and to Superbuy. So anyway, these are the Louis Vuitton trainers in the high top version in the black and white. As you can see here, these are just clean. These are super clean. Don't smell foo-foo, they smell quite nice actually. Put one at the bottom. Let's go ahead, get the other pair out as well of this dust bag. Super nice touch. And the boxes you do get from Jelly Studio are pretty on point. You can see my very first video regarding them as well. It is a great experience ordering from Jelly Studio. My mate loved his other shoes. So we've got another pair for him as well. There we go. It is the high top trainer. This reminds me of like a Dunk, or not Dunk, sorry. It could be a high top Dunk or a Jordan, but these are clean. These are super clean. As we can see, the Vuitton on the bottom, the black and white. Also got the iconic golden Louis Vuitton in there. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and pretty much pick apart this shoe from retail, figure out what's legit, what's not, the ups and the downs. To be honest, this leather work looks pretty incredible. It is super clean around the edges. But anyway, I'll get into that. I'll be right back. Bye. Alrighty guys, I am back. As you know, I do look at relevant pictures, videos, and so forth in regards to what we have in hand and compare it to the reps and the retails. And I wanna go through a couple things with you guys right now. Um, first of all, I guess the insoles for this particular shoe is the Louis Vuitton there made in Italy, which is very nice. And also with every purchase of the Jelly Batch, you obviously do get your dust bags. And you also get, so you get one for each shoe, and you also get the box as well. But I excluded the box because Superbuy were going to charge me tax on Trans and Mobile. And by tax, I mean like a lot of money. But anyway, let's get into this shoe. This shoe itself, as I said, it's not for me. I have tried it on. This is a US 11. And it fits probably about true to size, I would say. If you're a 12, you can probably squeeze in these without with taking the insoles out. And they probably still fit all right. I put them on in my feet, as you can see in the try on video. But anyway, let's get into it. First of all, I want to get through to is the tongue itself. As you know, in some of the issues of these Louis Vuitton shoes, the tongue here is the wrong color. With this particular shoe, this tongue is correct. It is white, like on the retail, so that is a really good addition to the shoe. Coming around, you've got the toe, obviously. The leather on this shoe is so clean cut and nice. There's no loose threads, which is great. We'll go to the outside of the shoe. As you can see, this is one of the main areas of the shoe we want to kind of legit check. And you do have the LV embedded in that little plastic insert there, which is correct as well. And you've also got the nice accents on there, as you can slightly see Louis Vuitton. And of course, the Louis Vuitton script right there as well. Now, how to legit check this is there is a way to do it. As you can see, there are your dots here. Now, the L for the Louis should pretty much point to the third dot in, which is, and this is on the right pair of shoe. Um, it's also similar to the left pair. On the left pair, that L is pointing to the fourth dot. So that is like retails. I did look at a couple pictures and that's how the retails are and that's how the text should be positioned. The text on this one is actually pretty good. It's not too low, it's not too high. It's quite nice on this particular shoe. As you can see, we do have the additions of the LV flowers on the bottom there. On the bottom of the shoe, it is a bit dirty, but you do have the baton and you do have that nice little flower there too. So that is what the bottom of the shoe does look like. Now coming around to the back of the shoe, I guess you do have your, I guess the nice leather work 
on the back there as well. Now, one of the main things I want to point out with this particular back of the shoe is that this back of it, this little mesh here, is like an off-whitey, creamy color, which is correct, just like your retails. And on the inside, you do have a white little um, cushion there. So it should be white inside, creamy white or off-white on the outside. Now coming inside of the shoe, it's pretty much just like the outside. You do have that plastic little insert there, the LV. Nice leather work ongoing. And I guess coming back to the front, we have the Louis Vuitton logo there. Now this logo is probably just right, I would say. It's borderline. I think it should be a tiny bit bigger, but it's actually quite large. Now I guess when you compare it to different shoes <clears throat> or different sizes, the one on the LV website could be a bit smaller. But this LV, it is nice. It doesn't have any flaws to it at all. So it could be a tiny bit bigger, but honestly, that's something that you can really consider when it's on foot, because you probably wouldn't notice it too much at all. That's pretty much it for the outside of the shoe. The leather work on this is crazy nice. They are actually pretty comfortable. I'm a 13, as I said, these are 11. You could probably get away with a 12, I would say. I took the insoles out. It wasn't actually too bad without the insoles. It was quite, it was quite comfortable still but I wouldn't be wearing these. I said, they're not for me anyway. I wouldn't be wearing these solidly if I was a 13. So this is the inside. You do have the little size tag there as well. And this is what the inside of the shoe does look like without the insoles put in. So I did put these on just so I could show you guys what they look like. Anyway, guys, I'm pretty happy with, with what you get from Jelly Studio. As I said, you do get the box as well if you opt in for that because it is it does make it considerably um, heavier with the box. But if you do want the box, they do offer that. Um, you get the two dust bags, you get some Louis Vuitton um, envelopes and stuff like that. But anyway, guys, I want to thank you for watching this review once again. Thank you for 800 subscribers. We killed it since the last video. I can't thank you guys enough. We're on the road to 1K, which is awesome. Nonetheless, leave a like, hit subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment what you want to see next, and I will see you guys next time. See ya.